the Chief Exec of ABMU um, and I'm here at the Liberty Stadium uh, where we've got 150 people from all sorts of different backgrounds. We've got clinicians, staff representatives, we've got patient representatives, we've got disability groups, we've got the Community Health Council and lots of other colleagues. Uh, and here we are at the beginning of a process where we try to map out the future of healthcare in our area. I think we all accept there's a need for change. We know that there's demographic pressure, that, that older people, the numbers are increasing over the next few years and we have to cope with the pressure that that brings. We also know that there's big economic pressure on the NHS as well and we have to find out ways of dealing with that. Everybody accepts that. I don't think anyone's arguing with that. But today what we've been trying to do is, is work with colleagues from all of these different places with all these different perspectives on focusing on what it is we do for patients and how, despite all this challenge, we try and improve patient services. So we're at the beginning of a journey. We've got virtually a year ahead of us. There'll be more of these events. We will be keeping staff and colleagues and other stakeholders informed about what we're doing. We've got a real challenge, but we want to use all of the creative energy that I've seen today, which has been absolutely amazing, to try and come up with the best solutions possible for the future of the NHS in this area. Keep watching, because we're going to be keeping you informed as we go along. Thank you. So I'm here today at the Liberty Stadium as part of our first day of a, of a programme of looking at changing for the better. Uh, we're facing some quite big challenges in the Health Board and in NHS Wales and we're looking at how we can redesign our services to make them sustainable and excellent. And although I think all change is challenging and people are a bit frightened of it, it's a fantastic opportunity to look at how we provide every service and to redesign them so that they're best for patients, uh, providing really high quality care uh, that's also cost effective and we can sustain for the future. And I think it's a really exciting and challenging moment at the same time for NHS Wales. My name's Heather Barrow and I'm Chair of ABMU CHC. I'm actually delighted to be here today because I think the way that this day is going is giving us a wider view, it's pulling in the community, you hear a lot of uh, talk about care in the community but this is the beginning to see it actually happening and I think you've got a big job ahead, I think you've got to get out into that community, can't wait for it to come to you and I hope you do it really well. Millington General Medical Practitioner in Swansea. I took part in the event because I was invited, not being absolutely clear why, but it became very apparent that the problems in the National Health Service are the problems that I see every day in my working life. We're close to the patient and we're often aware of the complex web of social, medical and other interactions around the patient. One of the things we spend a lot of time on in general practice is trying not to medicalise the problem, but I'm not sure that that message goes right through the National Health Service. So really, the important thing is to make the system work better for the patient and guard our, our precious resources so they're used appropriately, delivering the appropriate care to the appropriate patients in the appropriate time in the appropriate place. I hope that we're starting to move forward with that today. Hi, I'm Carmel Dunham and I'm the Integrated Community Services Manager in the Bridgend locality. I'm in a joint post across uh, ABMU and Bridgend County Borough Council and we're looking at integrating our community health and social care services to um, deliver better outcomes for people living in our community. So part of that is avoiding duplication by creating single points of contact so that we have a, a common and shared information about people we're jointly looking after in the community and to have an integrated approach to having a sort of preventative and preemptive approach to delivering our services. Events like today give us an opportunity to um, consider how we would remodel our services collaboratively across organisations um, and really give an opportunity to shape services around people rather than trying to fit people into services.